It's League Cup final starting at 11, prediction time, and the Celtic team picks itself. Or does it? Yes, good afternoon folks, welcome back to Celtic Fans TV as the official starting 11 prediction for tomorrow's League Cup final at Hampden Park against Rangers. What a week leading up to it, it's been a long, long week, the nerves are building now, the excitement's building, just about 24 hours to kick off, as I say we're here to talk about the starting 11 prediction, it's the final piece of preview content we have for you before the game tomorrow and what a prospect it is um, the first final between the teams since 2019 um, and that was a stressful encounter that day so um, let's hope it's not quite as stressful tomorrow but we come into an excellent forum the team has been absolutely scintillating in recent weeks, we're scoring so many goals <clears throat> four last week, five the week before um, four the week before that we're, we're free scoring some of the attacking play is absolutely brilliant um, and we're keeping the opposition to a minimum of chances as well. Now I know these games are different. Uh, we did have that 2-2 game at Ibrooks where um, it kind of swung both ways. We were we were brilliant in the early part of the game and then fell out of it. Rangers were the better team for a long period and then we get the late equaliser. We know these games are a step up in comparison to the other domestic tests that we face. But there's no doubt that we couldn't be coming into it in any better form. I don't remember a cup final um, where we've been in better form, but that doesn't mean anything. It's a one-off game. Um, Rangers have been in decent form as well. They've had a long run of wins. They've won all nine games since that 2-2 draw at Ibrooks. Um, perhaps not as convincingly as we have. They've had a few uh, closer games with underwhelming performances, but still managed to grind out the wins. Um, two teams in for them. We are stronger, I think, no doubt, in terms of the squad, the depth in the squad, the strength we have on the bench. But as ever, in a cup final, it's about who turns up on the day, who shows the most desire, who wins the key battles and who takes the chances and the big moments in the game. Um, if you go back to that 2019 final, uh, where we won with Chris Julien's uh, goal, that was the story that day because Rangers absolutely peppered this from start to finish. They missed a penalty, they missed golden opportunity after golden opportunity and to be honest I think we had two big chances in the game one which we took um, through Chris Julien and then Mikey Johnson a great chance in the counter towards the end to make it 2-0 um, you never know how these games are going to play out particularly in a cup final this is something we covered in the previous show yesterday with Martin and Chris 15 finals between the two teams and only one has been decided by more than a single goal it was that final um, back in 2009 where uh, Dan D and Aidan McGeady gave us a 2-0 victory in extra time so even that game finished 0-0 I expect it to be close as I said in the previous show by the way if you missed the previous show I'll link it up at the end of the video really enjoyed that show with the guys yesterday but as I say I expect this game to be close um, hopefully it's not hopefully it ends up a nice easy afternoon for us and we come out with a resounding victory um, I would love nothing better than that but I expect it to be really close I hardly fought um, and hopefully uh, we can be the better team on the day and come out with the trophy. So we will get to the team then, the starting 11 prediction, that is what we're here for. And no surprises for guessing that in goals it will be Joe Hart. The back four is one area of the team that I think is genuinely um, not up for debate. It does pick itself. I think it will be Johnston at right back. Carter Vickers and Starfelt, the centre half pairing, and Greg Taylor at left back. If you cash your mind back to that game at Ibrooks at New Year, Good control of the game, 1-0 up, 15-20 minutes in, Greg Taylor goes off injured um, and Juranovic came on, he was really, really poor. Struggled up against Sakala um, all afternoon really, so I think Greg Taylor, if it is to be Sakala up against him, is going to need to limit his opportunities um, in terms of space in behind for him to run into. But I think Greg Taylor's a big player for us um, and I think that did uh, that was one factor in the shift in momentum that day. We talked at length about um, Morelos closing down Hart, Hart um, dwelling with the ball and then inviting the pressure and, and changing the energy in the crowd um, but another factor was Juranovic at left back because he really struggled in that middle period of the game um, where Rangers caused us more than a few problems so Greg Taylor back in is a huge boost for us in midfield that is an area of the pitch where there is uh, plenty of debate I think it will be Callum McGregor in the deeper position obviously last weekend's man of the match Rio Hatate in front of him 
playing as good as he's as as good as he's played at Celtic so far. Um, arrived last season, brilliant early doors, tailed off because of the fatigue towards the end of the season. Um, started this season brilliantly, but he's gone on to another level in the last last month or so. Um, and great to hear Anne saying he's constantly pushing forward. He wants more from himself, more from his game. Um, he's starting to add a lot more assists, a lot more goals in the last couple of months. Um, some of his footwork, the way he receives the ball, the way he passes it, his range of passing is just top level. Um, I think he, he has got a lot more development to go, but he's in great form. And I think if he can replicate that level of performance tomorrow, um, we'll be in a great position in the game. Now, alongside him, um, I, I couldn't honestly couldn't decide who is going to play alongside him. Um, but two factors have made my mind up, and I'm going to go with Matt O'Reilly. Um, O'Reilly started last week, but the two main reasons I've went with O'Reilly and not Moy are because I think Moy is a better substitute for us in a variety of different um, situations the game might be in. I think if we're leading in the game and we want Moy to in to, to get a foot in the ball and camp things down in midfield, he's there. If we're behind in the game, he's also there. We've seen it at Ibrox, he came off the bench when we were behind, was involved in the build-up to the equaliser, really settled has got on the ball and helped us regain control. Um, I think he offers more as a sub than O'Reilly would. Um, so I think that is really a key factor. And I think if we're going to start gung-ho, Go at Rangers. Um, we've seen that a few times in, in recent derbies, particularly the ones that we've absolutely ran away with. You think the 3-0 game last February, the 4-0 game at the start of this season, they've been blistered in starts um, and they've both involved uh, that midfield three of McGregor, Hatati and O'Reilly. So if they three can replicate those levels of performance and really pin Rangers back early in the game, um, I think that's the three that we should go with. And as I say, Aaron Moy on the bench, is a great option for us, better, I think, than the reverse, better than Moy starting, and then if something goes wrong in the game, or we're even leading in the second half, I think O'Reilly as a substitute maybe doesn't often have the, the same impact uh, that Moy does. And the other factor um, that, that made me sway towards O'Reilly is that Moy wasn't involved last week. We don't really know why that was. Was he just purely rested? Did he have a bit of a niggle? I think if he had a bit of a niggle, and there's any doubt about his fitness, he can't start in this game. Um, that remains to be seen. It wouldn't surprise me at all to see Aaron Moy start, and it might be a huge boost for us if he can, but I've just gone with Matt O'Reilly. Um, front three, I've been saying all week, I said it in the preview show, I've been saying it in group chats, I think it picks itself. I think it's going to be Jota, Maeda and Kyogo. Um, but in the final preparations for this video, I thought there's generally always a surprise and Ange Postacoglu's derby lineups last time out. It was the debut for Alistair Johnson at right back <clears throat> at Ibrox um, after only having just arrived and only really started training with the team. Um, there always tends to be a surprise, and I've went with a surprise because I think Lee Abada is going to start on the right-hand side. Um, he got a goal off the bench last week. <clears throat> um, I think, obviously, he said these two match-winning performances against Rangers... Uh, both have been at Celtic Park though and he hasn't started very much in recent games but he looked good when he came on last week he scored a great fourth goal um, smashed it into the roof of the net drifting inside the box um, right in the centre of the goal left foot finish into the roof of the net I think he might just go with Abada and that would be a surprise because Jota's been starting week in and week out and there's no doubt that Jota is one of our key men but <clears throat> I don't know why I, I might be wrong I just had a, had a niggling feeling when I sat down um, to finalise this team that a badder might get the nod uh, so we'll just have to wait and see but we know he can do it against Rangers um, I don't think Barisic if he's on the Rangers team sheet at left back which I expect him to be will be relishing the prospect of coming up against Lee Alabada because he's given him nightmares um, on more than one occasion I think it le on the left hand side it will be Dyson Maida I don't think that is up for debate at all I think he gives you far too much off the ball um, he's selfless, his defensive work is brilliant he covers so much ground and as we've seen at Ibrox the last time um, he's got plenty of quality as well in that 20-25 minute period at the start of the game um, he was running Tavernier ragged so again if we can pin Rangers back and start the game well if we can get the better of the early proceedings I think Dyson Maida down the left hand side can cause Rangers no end of problems and 
Kyogo through the middle. Um, he got the monkey off his back of not having scored in this fixture uh, at Ibrooks in the 2-2 game with that equaliser. He wasn't. He was involved in the first 20-25 minutes again, and we were dominating the play, um, but not so involved for the rest of the game up until that last period where he grabbed the equaliser. I think the work that Kyogo does away from the ball is key in these games um, to make space for the likes of Maeda, the likes of Abada, um, the, the runs, dragging defenders away, even Hatate arriving late. We've seen that so often in recent weeks. Um, Hatate arriving late in the box, getting goals. Um, so while it looks like he's on the periphery and he might not seem like he's doing much, his work rate and his runs are always causing problems and always open up, uh, always opening up space for his teammates um, and hopefully we can see more League Cup final magic. He was a match winner in last season's League Cup final. We went behind to Hibs early in the second half and 14 seconds later they'd equalised and then he won it with that magnificent lob. Um, it was just absolutely brilliant what a, what a performance it was. Two goals that will live long in the memory and if he can replicate that tomorrow um, it would be absolutely magic. So there you go. That's the 11 I think Ange Postacoglu might go with. But again, who knows who'll start on the right-hand side. I've just got a sneaky feeling it might be Liel Abada. And O'Reilly has just picked Aaron Moy for me. But either way, I think we're going to get into this with a really strong team and a really strong bench. Because I think if you look at O'Reilly and Moy, um, both have their strengths. But as an option on the bench, even though I prefer Moy as a sub, um, O'Reilly's a really strong player to have in reserve. Same with Abada. If it is to be Jota starting, um, Abada's there on the bench and we know his qualities. And think about having a player like Jota on the bench if you need him. Um, we've got so much quality, so much depth on the bench. And as I say, if we start this game well and we take our chances, perform to the level we've been playing to recently, um, our back is to win the trophy. So there you go. Wherever you're watching the game tomorrow, enjoy it. Like this video, comment with your own thoughts in the team below. Who do you think will start in these key positions? Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It's the only way to keep up with all the content and all the reaction tomorrow after the game at Hamden Park. Enjoy it. Cheers.